Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to COD Zombies HQ with the conclusion of the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Beta. Some people have been doing a little bit of digging and it's resulted in a treasure trove of information about Cold War Zombies for us to interpret and enjoy. It answers a bunch of fundamental questions about how this Zombies mode is going to be different from Zombies modes in the past. So without further ado, let's get into the contents of the leaks themselves, posted to the COD Zombies Reddit by Reddit. Reddit user Nanikos, who's responsible for all the information and leaks that have come out in the past and is deemed to be extremely credible. So the contents of this leak talk about a bunch of different stuff, but let's focus on the two biggest revelations, excuse the pun, first of which is related to how Pack-a-Punch is going to work in this game, with the information being gleamed off some text that seems to be related to various challenges that need to be completed in one of the new Zombies maps themselves. It doesn't get too specific, but it does give us enough information to tell us that secondary pack-a-punch abilities will be returning in the form of ammo mods. Now we don't know exactly what those secondary pack abilities will be, but apparently there's going to be some kind of mechanic in the game called essence, and it will be this essence that determines either what kind of or possibly the strength of the secondary pop ability that you get when you pack a punch a weapon for the first time. The introduction of quote unquote essence goes on to say something that we already know, that is weapons with higher rarity will deal more baseline damage and will have more attachments. The secondary part, the attachments part, being an interesting way to help make weapons of a lower rarity a lot less useful than weapons of a higher rarity, thus forcing us when playing Cold War Zombies to keep hitting the box over and over again, or if they have any other mechanic, to constantly increase our weapon's rarity to keep pace with the increasing difficulties of zombies as the round progresses. Lastly, relating to Pack-a-Punch, it seems that multiple Pack-a-Punch levels like we saw in Black Ops 4 will be returning with the level of that PAP weapon corresponds to the cost of a new ammo refill system that's going to be in the game that they're calling an ammo cache. Okay, so with the PAP stuff out of the way, let's get into what I think is the most interesting things about the leak themselves, something that we had zero information about until now, and that being information about the specific zombies currency, the liquid divinium nobulium plasma replacement here in Cold War Zombies, and a little bit of an idea of how it might work. So the leak outlines two specific kinds of currency that we'll be earning during something called milestone rounds, which we can assume might be something like every five rounds or every ten rounds of a zombies game. It will be a milestone round, and if you beat that round, you'll earn some of the new types of currency being introduced in this game. The first is going to be called Salvage. Now the first thing I personally think of when I hear salvage relating to zombies is going way way back here the infinite warfare zombie system which use salvage to help unlock specific variants of weapons that you can then bring back and use in zombies and that still might be the case here in cod cold war but another part of this leak suggests that it has another use in game and that it will be totally different to the way salvage was used in past zombies games like infinite warfare where the leak says quote that the crafting table creates equipment equipment and support using salvage. Now thinking back, if you guys remember, Activision actually talked about this mechanic in their initial reveal of Cold War Zombies. About it, they said in brief, around the map you can craft and find lethal, tactical, and support equipment. And it's with this support slot and the crafting table mechanic that we can better understand how they're going to balance things that we see in the trailer, overpowered stuff like the chopper gunner, we can kind of see how they're going to implement it in game, where it's likely they'll use this salvage currency that you earn during these milestone rounds in order to possibly craft the chopper gunner equipment at a crafting table. Now there's no telling if something like the chopper gunner will be a one-time use thing, right? You spend your salvage that you earn from a milestone round, you go ahead and craft it at a crafting table using that salvage, and you can use your chopper gunner once, and then it's gone forever. Then you gotta go ahead and earn some more salvage and craft another chopper gunner to use it again. And that seems like the most likely system Treyarch is going for here. It seems like the best way to balance it in my own personal opinion. And I would imagine that something as crazy and overpowered as a chopper gunner would 
probably cost a lot of salvage, right? Maybe then forcing you to save up a few milestone rounds worth of salvage in order to actually craft it. So to the people out there, and I'm sure there's a bunch of you watching this that were really, really concerned about multiplayer killstreaks being introduced in zombies, I think that this system is probably a really, really good way for Treyarch to introduce and balance it within the mode itself, using salvage as a currency that you earn throughout milestone rounds makes a whole lot of sense and hopefully it'll help kind of change your mind about whether this belongs in zombies or not. Now of course, the other type of currency we have to talk about that seems to have been revealed as a result of this leak is something called Ethereum Crystals, which could be something like salvage that is to be used exclusively in a game of zombies itself and then is gone once that game is over, but is probably far more likely to be the replacement for Liquid Divinium and Nebulium Plasma as the new zombie-specific currency in Black Ops Cold War, and will earn a bit of it every milestone round. So every milestone round you earn a bit of salvage to use in the game right then to craft better equipment, and you earn a little bit of Ethereum Crystals, we assume to help roll for some kind of buffs that they haven't really talked about yet. But which we can assume will probably provide some really good, maybe overpowered buffs to your characters, things like free perks and power-up drops that we've seen in prior games, but they could make them more interesting too with some effects that we actually haven't had in games before. But the leak does say that there will be two kinds, two types of Ethereum Crystals a raw Ethereum Crystals, which we'll earn in a milestone round, and then something called a flawless Ethereum Crystal, which we don't really know how we earned that yet. Now, of course, we don't really know the difference between this raw Ethereum Crystal and the flawless Ethereum Crystal. We can kind of speculate and say that maybe they might do something like a free currency being the raw Ethereum Crystals, and then a paid premium currency being the flawless Ethereum Crystals, or they could just be a variation of the same currency, where maybe something like four raw Ethereum Crystals is equal to one flawless Ethereum Crystal, and you maybe earn that at the completion of something big, like a round 100 milestone round, or the completion of an Easter egg or something to help make them more worthwhile to do. But of course, though we now have a better idea of some of the mechanics of how it's going to work, the specifics of the microtransaction system in this game haven't been revealed yet, four weeks till launch, we'll see what they end up doing with Ethereum Crystals. Now, I don't know about you guys, but it should be pretty obvious, I love talking about zombies, but I love hearing other people talk about zombies too. And since the ending of the premier zombies podcast on YouTube, Zombros ended a little while ago, there was a bit of an empty void in the community for audio podcasts talking about zombies, well, no more. I was recently guest on a new awesome zombies community podcast called the Division C Podcast. You can find a link to it down in the description. If you're chilling out playing some games or you just want some zombies talk, some general chatter in the background, we go over a whole bunch of stuff about Cold War Zombies, what went wrong in Black Ops 4, a bunch of awesome stuff for you guys to take a listen to, again, down in the description. And I'll also leave a link to Jason's Twitch channel, he's one of the hosts, where you can watch it live in the future. But that wraps things up, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button down below. Subscribe to the channel already. I love to read your comments about what you guys think about the introduction of all these new currencies into zombies. Leave them down below. I reply to as many as I can. But I want to thank you again for watching, and I'll see you with another Zombies News video very, very soon. Peace!